Hey there, YouTube. It's Math Bowler. My buddy and I went to Dave and Brian's Collector's Den the day after they opened, uh, once the restrictions in Allegheny County were lifted. Uh, we went to Dave and Brian's Collector's Den. It's located at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall, the uh, Galleria Mills or whatever it's called. I, I call it the Pittsburgh Mills. But um, yeah, so we went there and my goal was to spend $100 there as I have not given them business for a while and they've not been getting business, period, for a while. So I bought $101 worth of stuff. So first up, I bought a pack of top loaders just because I was a couple bucks under 100 and I thought, well, these things are gold. You try to buy them online right now. But um, I bought a total of five autographs two autographed 8x10 photos, and three autographed baseballs, one of which is associated, who is associated with the Pirates and two who are not but have had pretty good Major League Baseball careers. So they will go well with my autographed baseball collection. So starting off, Chad Cool had a signing at Dave and Brian's Collector's Den. And first off, uh, before I get into this, let me just say Dave and Brian's uh, their prices overall are very reasonable. Um, they're they're not super high expensive, and you know some things are probably more expensive than others, just like anywhere. But overall, I mean, you know, I don't know where else you could have an authentic photo signed in person at a store from a current player, you know, for twelve dollars each. So, I mean, I kind of do like Chad Cool in all honesty, and I hope he bounces back. So I bought two of these. Two different poses, and uh, even when he had a signing at their store with Adam Frazier back in, I think it was 2017. I mean, it was a, it was thirty dollars. It was fifteen dollars per autograph, or if you got him and Frazier as a combo, it was twenty four dollars for both of them. I mean, so here I've got two autograph photos for twenty four dollars. Um, you know, and if you went to their signing, I believe they were charging six bucks a photo. So I mean, I got a really good deal. For having never gone to their signing. Because at the time I did not need Chad Cool's autograph for anything. But uh, he had a great debut against the Dodgers. When he beat Clayton Kershaw in his debut. Could you imagine like your first major league game. And you're going to go up against Clayton Kershaw. <laughs> anyway yeah. So two Chad Cool autographed 8x10 photos. Next up. Um, I'm going to go in order of probably most popular. Or least popular to most popular. So. Gene Lamont, former Pirates skipper. Actually, he was a coach for the Pirates for some years, and then he became the manager of the Pirates. I believe he was right after Jim Leland. Um, before that, he had a nice stint with the White Sox. I believe he was manager of the year, but that White Sox team back in the early, mid-90s had so many good players, and then uh, he was... Like um, a lot of former Pirates, was with the Tigers as well. But uh, yes, we got Gene Lamont. And there's no questions about authenticity. First off, no one's forging Gene Lamont's autograph. But I still looked it up a little bit. Next up, we got Jack Clark with the Ripper inscription. So that's pretty cool. I mean, uh, the inscription is what made it. If it was just Jack Clark, I, I know he's... He's got like four all-stars, he's a silver slugger multiple times, but uh, the inscription's what made that cool. Plus, the price was very reasonable. So this is not authenticated, but just like anybody else, I uh, went to eBay and looked up comparable examples that were JSA and PSA authenticated, and I have no issues, none at all with that. And finally, picked up another autographed baseball here. We got a former NL MVP, George Foster. So, yeah, he's got a ton of uh, accomplishments here. The NL MVP, a uh, couple of World Series, five All-Stars. He led the league in the National League multiple times in home runs and RBIs. And um, so when I did a search on this, the, the store had a... When he... They purchased these some of these baseballs, and they had a generic COA, which to me is not, you know, I don't trust that COA. So, I mean, I had looked this up, and that G is not his most common G, but it is unauthenticated. 
legit authenticated items. Plus, you start to look at everything else, like every other letter. Even the letters in the inscription match up beautifully. So, yeah, no concerns about authenticity here. Though, if you were to look at 100 autographed baseballs that were authenticated, the majority of them did not have a G like that. But, uh, you know, autographs do change over time. And that's no concern when you see JSA authenticated baseballs with the G that looks just like that. Every other letter, even the inscription, looks beautiful. So, there we go. Made a trip to Dave and Brian's Collector's Den. Wanted to give them some business as they had been, as they had been closed for two and a half months. And uh, mission accomplished. So, my buddy and I went down there and... Uh, Picked up, I picked up five autographs for the collection, so feel free to let me know what you like down below in the comments. I always appreciate it if you like my video, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.